bone, chop suey. But how do you know you made the right decision with the right person? And I want to give a shout out to my cousin, how's the boss? Because the evolution that we've been through in our lives and the money that's been through our hand and the projects we've been uh, attached to, we should have been millionaires a long time ago. However, being satisfied was never my thing. I, I always wanted more. You know what I'm saying? I got tired of being just a dude who paid rent. So I studied the game. My cousin I was the boss during this time had about six or seven properties. You could take it or let it alone. This when the game was wide open for the taking. And it still wasn't my thing, but I was sitting back and observing a lot of inf absorbing a lot of information. And so after my bomb shelter no limit deal with DJ Daryl slash Master P, Daryl gave us them checks and I took mine and added with some more and a few years went past and I accumulated and accumulated and I bought my first house. I wanted ownership. And so I'm saying that to say this, sometimes in relationships, people stagnate and they hear. And your mind is forever evolving and you hear. So you outgrow the person that you thought that you outgrow the person who you thought you loved, who you thought was the one. And then when you sit back and reflect as I've gotten older, I feel like in all my relationships, not all of them, but majority of them, I just outgrew the person. Because when I reflect 10 and 20 years later, I look at relationships that I was in and the women are very successful. Very successful. And I applaud them and salute them for that. And so understanding relationships, sometimes you outgrow the person or the person outgrow you. Or what you bring to the table is not sufficient enough to sustain that man because you ain't bringing nothing different. If you with the smoking, the drinking, and the popping in the club, and you know just want to relax and chill and love, love is it's good. It's, it's the it's love is the attribute of life. However, the first law of God is self-preservation and tilling the ground, man. And we got to build. If you ain't bringing nothing to the table that's building concept or building productivity, then your love is gonna wither away. So you got to be bringing something besides the love to the table. Or a man may be in a different a situation and another situation and can't give you what you desire. And you assuming he is the right one, but you don't know. Or a woman may be in a situation and she can't give you what you desire. And you have to understand that it's very important to court before you make that decision on believing or assuming this is the one. It's very important. You will get yourself caught up in the mix assuming that this person is the one unless you identify and court this person and assure yourself this is the one. So this is going to be part one, but I'm going to keep on digging. I'm going to keep on giving y'all the wisdom and knowledge. How do you know when you have met the right one or this the one you would is the right one? You really don't know. You have to test that person you have to identify that person you have to put that person through trial and error it be lazy dudes up out there it be lazy women out there they ain't they worthless they ain't doing that with them their lives and you sitting around accepting that bullshit because you are you have become accustomed to it 
and you are what you attract. So you must have been a lazy motherfucker. So when a lazy person get around you, you 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 can identify with that. I can't. I can't identify with that. I got to. Hey, look here, man. I got to be producing. If she ain't producing, hey, ain't nothing I can do for you. But there was a person that affected my life so greatly that I am the man I am today. And a nation only rises high as the woman. So I salute this person as now that I have involved myself in other situations while I'm building this empire that I'm on. I'm valuing several people that is of God, that is in my best interest and genuinely friends with me and love me and want to see me prosper as well but there was an individual that put me on the right path to be successful that I am and push my, my ambitions more to, to push my strength more because they seen the God in me and that's how come I knew that this person was the right person at the right time in my journey in life so dear family when you meet a person that's going to push you and drive you to inspire your thoughts and bring them into existence. When you meet a person that you think about it and they manifest it into existence and show you by example. And then you go out and handle your business. That's the one. Because the feet from the feet, baby. And so I salute her twice. And salute those who help me. This is part one. Your cousin Pete from the B. You don't know who you with until you test them. Until you up under the fire. Until they building with you. Economics. The love is going to come as natural as nature. Economics. Building for the future. Producing the future. Podcast 31. I'm rumbling. I'm, I'm rambling. I'm doing it all. They say practice make perfect. I ain't scared to do it, man. But we gonna handle it. Peace out. Part one. Part two coming. Peace.